I hate K-pop. I don't get BTS. K-pop? They look like they're just a bunch of... How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are jerking off to little K-pop boys? <laughs> it's like a little fetish. It's like a little twink gay fetish about these K-pop boys. Does Ian have an insight <laughs> on K-pop? Let's see. I've used the gay word derog- derogatorily. A couple times. And, and yeah, I've said... uh probably just cancel his show. What can you do to me? I've already said the N-word. You can't take me down. I've already said the N-word. Live. Let's not invite You, can, you can't touch me. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so I just got done posting another video um, of me doing a BTS Try Not To Laugh challenge. And one of my friends, well, one of my ex-co-workers, well, he's still my friend, but he sent me a video of the guy. I don't know his real name. I just know his he he, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know your name. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. But um, he was really bashing BTS, um, like saying how he don't understand how K-pop is like in the Western community or how you know he think they're gay, they look alike, and all this other stuff. Um, and there's there's like a a the, there's like a, a it's a cancel party basically on his name on Twitter. Um, so what I have to say about that, um, okay, so this dude has a past of being really racist to, like, the like saying the N-word to black, about black people, you know, I'm black, I mean, I might not look, no, I'm just kidding, no, sorry, I can, I can never stay serious, I have to joke around or I would just get mad, but he has, a, like, a, a past of being, like, racist, I don't know if he mean to be racist or just, that's his humor, but he has a past, so... I just don't, I don't know. Um, the man, the, he really rubbed me the wrong way when he started talking about BTS. Like, people don't get K-pop. They don't get the message that it gives us. People that love K-pop, that love BTS, they don't understand any of that stuff. So they just automatically assume that we're falling for them because of their looks, because of, you know, of the, of you know, the way they move. I mean, they do, you know, they do move kind of good and look kind of good and all that stuff. But y'all have to look at the reason why we love these people. Like, the messages behind all these lyrics that's in K-pop songs, especially BTS. Like, the message behind each song is positive as heck. So, if you got, if people just, if he just sit down and just do his research before talking about people and just, you know... Like throwing hate at people, he needed to do his research and just understand what, understand other people's opinions, other people, you know, thoughts and stuff like that. For just bashing him, and you don't even know, like he don't even know BTS. Like he probably don't even he haven't heard none of their songs probably. He just know like seen them everywhere and see that they're the biggest boy band group out there, and it's really hurting him that they're Korean. He's really mad that they're not American. He's he's hurt by that, and that, that that's what makes him really ignorant. Because how you going how you going like say what's this going on in the Western community? Who cares? We're all the same. We're all human. Like this that's just like with people being mean to black people. We're all the same. So for you to say that, that just you just being ignorant, and it this message doesn't even matter to him because he's ignorant. He knows he's ignorant. He he's know he knows he's ignorant. He knows that. So I don't even know why I'm talking because it don't even matter anymore. But I'm just saying like that. I'm just putting out my thoughts about that. Like he really, when I watched that clip, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And then then the point that he just had no care. I even said the N word. Nobody can stop me. I even said the N word. Like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. I guarantee if a, a dude came in your face and you said the N word to that black dude that came in your face. You would not say it again. I promise you that. He <laughs> he. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. I don't know if it's his name he he or something. I don't really care to be honest with you. I'm at. But um now to this cancel party that's going on on Twitter. Um I understand the man said what he said. Of course he's ignorant. We all know that. We should just kill the man with kindness. That's what we all like. Not just you know K-pop in general, but BTS Army. We should just kill the man with kindness. That's what we've been doing, and that's what we should just keep on doing. There shouldn't be no he he is over party. It shouldn't be no cancel party because at the end of the day, we can't judge him for his opinion. That's his opinion, even though he's ignorant as heck. That's his opinion. Is his opinion, so we can't judge him for that. So 
for the people starting a party on Twitter that's really being ignorant a little bit. Not really, but you know I'm on y'all side. But <laughs> no, for real though. Like for real. We shouldn't we shouldn't start a war. Cause this he he is over party. It's really starting a war right now. And we we should just ignore the man. Let him talk. Cause this is not the first time he says stuff like this. So just let him talk, ignore him, let him be ignorant, and just you know, I'm not gonna add on to this little this little cancel party because you know that's like I said before that's his opinion. So I can't get mad, man. But when you disrespect those men back there, it's a problem. So like I I don't I I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Like he know like that's I I said all I had to say. Like I, that really just grind my more my mother forking gears um so yeah this dude is crazy <clears throat> clears throat talking about their k-pop is gay and you know what i don't wanna if you don't understand the culture just don't talk about it let's just don't talk that's like people talking about his heritage and his race and stuff he would get mad about that and he don't i don't understand people i this world is so corrupted i don't i don't get it I re why can't we just love each other? Why can't we just love each other? It's so hard for people to just love one another. Love each race. It, I don't understand what's hard about that. It's not that hard. Like, people are just ignorant. And it's probably his job to be ignorant. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just going to sign off because I'm getting a little emotional. Because, like, for me being an African American, it's like it hurts me to the core that people really are like this in the world. Just because of a skin color. And because of, like, you know, like, a, la a language. And just because it's annoying. Music is music. People are people. Race is a race. So treat everybody equally and stop doing the ignorant crap. It makes me so mad. But, you guys, I'm just going to sign off now. And, um, yeah. Let me know you, what you guys think about, you know, everything. Um, please don't be negative. If you're, if you're watching this, please don't be negative to the man. Just let him talk. Just let him, just let him be that little bug in the air. And just shoo him away. Just let him, don't, just let him talk. Cause at the end of the day, we know why we love BTS. We know why we love K-pop. So that's all that matters. And just remember, I love you guys. Bye.